I'm actually quite optimistic about where the conversation around sustainable production is going. Sustainable food production is always evolving. We're always learning new things and the system isn't perfect, but it's in farmers and agriculture producers' best interest to be sustainable. The basis of our operation is using beef cattle and to manage cattle, especially grazing systems, we have to try to look at how grasses have evolved under grazing pressure and mimic the traditional use, which in this area would have been bison grazing. So you're building on that knowledge of a migratory or rotational grazing system and then infusing new technologies that come along to help facilitate that and improve your management of it. From my understanding, there's been 60 million or more bison that lived on the plains, and now that they're no longer here, cattle have replaced them as ruminants. And the carbon produced by cattle would be similar to the carbon produced by the bison at that time. And those grasslands are out there like a giant solar panel capturing sunlight and capturing carbon from the air. We live in what's called the prairie pothole region. So we're dominated by a lot of small wetlands across the landscape and that creates a variability when it comes to moisture conditions. We've entered into a partnership with a local watershed organization to protect class one and two wetlands. The production methods that we're trying to implement are a way to be adaptable to those varying conditions and also to, to conserve and maintain those wetlands for their value and their ecosystem and not have to alter the landscape. To solve environmental challenges, I rely heavily on livestock production, which facilitates using perennials in your cropping rotation as well as perennial grasslands for feed resources. They're much more resilient to environmental challenges. Conserving grasslands and grazing lands, as well as utilizing perennial forages in crop production is important because it provides the environmental goods and services that the landscape evolved to provide. We also grow feed throughout the year and try to feed extensively to our cattle. That also gives us the ability to grow other assortments of feed crops when cropping conditions aren't ideal for cash cropping. And that allows us to diversify the land use and try to extract as much value from the land base as possible in a way that's actually beneficial for the land itself. The agricultural producers have the ability to make large impact just to the nature of the landscape and the land base that they operate on. And I think with that ability probably comes responsibility. It's challenging, nothing's easy and it's not perfect, but it's rewarding, so we persevere.